Hey everybody, welcome to Meet Firebase, where you get to meet the Googlers that make Firebase happen. My name is Doug Stevenson, and we have a very special show today. Uh, last week at Google I.O. 2017, thousands of developers descended on Shoreline Amphitheater, and as part of that, they get to hang out with the Googlers that make some of the products they're interested in. If you weren't able to make it, that's okay. We've got great news for you today, because we've taken our camera crews out to catch up with some of the Googlers that make Firebase happen. Let's take a look. Hey everybody, my name is Doug Stevenson. I'm Coding Doug on Twitter, and I'm here at Google I.O. It's day two, and I'm in the Firebase sandbox. And my mission here today is to find the Googlers that make Firebase happen. Why don't you come along with me? How's I.O. been going for you so far? I.O. has been great. This is one of my favorite things to do every year. Um, I've been as an attendee, but I'm here as staff for the first time, which is so cool. I love hanging out with the Android community. Uh, i got a lot of friends here I only see at I.O., and so, it's like a long, awesome party. Oh, I was great. The weather is great. Like, I've had a lot of great conversations with people, a lot of good feedback. I'm excited to take that and help enhance our product. It's a really exciting event, a lot of energy. Uh, I just got off stage. The adrenaline is still flowing, and I'm really juiced up and pumped up. What sort of announcements are you most excited about at I.O. today? Ah, well, there's been so much. TensorFlow hardware and Google Home within Firebase. Enhancements to analytics are really exciting. Some of the things that I've personally worked on are Firebase Cloud Messaging, a ton of different things that, that's all really exciting, all happening all at once. Thanks for chatting with me, John. Right on. <laughs> What's your experience been at I.O. so far? Well, it's amazing. Uh, the Kotlin announcement obviously took all developers by really good excitement. So I'm really looking forward to working with the communities on that. I gave my talk this morning, and so I'm excited to see the other talks. I just came back from Zero to App, which was super exciting. It's been fun. It's been very exciting meeting all the developers for the first time and even meeting all the Firebases. I didn't know the team was this big. <laughs> it is a pretty big team, yeah. Yeah. What announcements at I.O. are you most excited about today? Um, I'm really excited about all the new release about Android O and Firebase, especially now Firebase Task Lab has the supports for games. I'm so excited. One of my personal favorites was like where all the battery performance improvements we're making with Android. I, I'm in that user group at 4 p.m. I have ba battery anxiety every day. The Kotlin announcement was also super exciting, and I think from a developer relations and a developer product point of view, um, just lots of exciting work ahead for that. So uh, what's that on your arm there? Oh, this is a, a Firebase headband that I'm uh, wearing around my wrist. Thought it'd be good to represent both the Fabric and the Firebase brand, so yeah. Awesome. Uh, I'm really excited about all the announcements around Fabric and Firebase. Crashlytics is going to be the main crash reporting tool uh, that is recommended going forward. It's been great being at the, the Fabric booth and seeing the excitement when you actually get to talk to the customers. So what announcements here at I.O. are you most excited about? Well, I think Firebase Test Lab for Games is a really great product. We've been trying it out with one of our sample games, Mecha Hamster, and you know, it's, it's just great results out of the box. So we were able to um, build a demo, a test loop for the game, and then once we ran the game, we got FPS data back, like um, frame rate data. Um, we ended up getting uh, memory usage, um, CPU utilization back, and determining whether or not really quickly whether the game would crash, crash or not. Um, so it was really good. Yeah, it sounds like they'd be very helpful for developers. So what's your experience been like at I.O. so far? It's been great. I had a talk just this morning, and that was with my friends Puff, Jen, and Mike, Puff, Frank, Frank. <laughs> and what was your talk about? And our talk was a live coding demo where we coded on web, iOS, and Android. Jen actually ported it to Kotlin last night after the announcement that Kotlin's now supported. So it was a lot of fun. So what's this game over here? What's going on? This game is a cooperative game in which three people have to work together to fly a spaceship. They answer trivia questions in order to get more fuel, and they have to dodge dodge the asteroids, which is why they keep yelling left. <laughs> OK. That sounds very interesting. I think I want to play it. And how was it built? It was built using Firebase. Imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that. Three, two, one. What's your experience been at I.O. so far today? So far, I've been manning AppShift 3000, our Firebase game, and it has been absolutely amazing. We've had people coming in, flying rocket ships, all sorts of craziness. 
what announcement at I.O. are you most excited about today? Yeah, I'm actually really excited about one of the new hosting and functions integrations that we announced. So if you have HTTPS functions uh, from Google Cloud Functions for Firebase, you can put those behind Firebase hosting, get caching, and get all sorts of cool new features there. And that's super exciting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to give that a try uh, after I.O. is over. <laughs> what kind of announcements at I.O. are you most excited about today? Oh, I'm excited about, I guess, all of our Firebase and testing announcements. Like, we announced um, new performance metrics. I think that's really cool, where you can see, you know, we do a video every time we do a crawl or run one of your, like, Espresso or UI Automator tests. And now you can see in that video, like, where are there performance issues with memory or with CPU, um, you know, exactly what's happening. Um, I'm, yeah. I'm sure that would be very uh, helpful for developers. Yeah, yeah. so. Check it out. <laughs> it's been pretty great. It's, you know, it's basically Geek Christmas. It's my first I.O. ever, and uh, I've been wanting to come here for a very long time. I'm, I'm pretty jazzed. <laughs> it has been fantastic for me, I think, uh, from a product manager perspective. It's really an awesome opportunity to get to talk with our users. So I've actually ended up learning quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of things today. What are you most excited about? Well, for the iOS community, like we are open sourcing a lot of uh, the Firebase SDK, um, which is very, um, very exciting and benefit a lot of the external developers, I think. Okay, Google, let me talk to IO Photo Booth. Well, it was really great catching up with the team. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe right here to the Firebase channel on YouTube to catch up with all the content that you may have missed at I.O. and to catch more episodes of Meet Firebase in the future. I'll see you next time.